Good afternoon. The headlines from BBC Look North. It's Wednesday lunchtime. Unemployment in our area falls, but there are warnings that a growing number of working people are living in poverty. Humberside Police and Humberside Fire and Rescue Service both stressed that extensive searches for Russell Bowling were carried out. In a statement, Humberside Police told the BBC... Lincoln Castle is changing. This is the first part of its £19 million restoration. Edward, isn't the uh, Magna Carta central to the whole development? Yes, hello to you, Kate. It certainly is. Over £19 million worth of investment at Lincoln Castle. And as you said, the Magna Carta is central to that. It will be given its own dedicated vault for display in 2015, in time for its 800th anniversary. First this lunchtime, some breaking news. One of Barton-upon-Humber's major employers has announced it's to close. Kimberly Clark employs almost 380 people at its factory where it makes nappies. Well, I'm joined now by Martin Vickers, the local MP from our studios in Westminster. Mr Vickers, good afternoon to you. What's your reaction to this news this lunchtime then? Well, clearly I'm extremely disappointed. It's uh, devastating news. Between 1941 and 1945, 78 convoys left Britain. Their mission to repel Hitler's army and keep the supply lines open. How fast is that stretch of coastline disappearing at the moment? Well, Peter, if you come with me, you can see for yourself the answer is alarmingly quickly. Where I'm standing now was a road, but if you look over here, it is literally falling into the sea, cracking and crumbling just over there. This is the first time that Cleethorpe's historic pier has been put up for auction. In the past, the landmark has been sold often for over a million pounds. This time it has a guide price of £400,000, and those behind the auction are confident it'll fetch much more. In the last hour, it's been announced that BAE Systems has secured a major order to make aeroplanes for the Royal Air Force of Oman. Twelve Typhoon and eight Hawk advanced jet trainer aircraft have been ordered with some sub-assembly taking place at the company's base in Bruff in East Yorkshire. Bosses at BAE says the move has sustained some jobs at the base, but it won't affect existing redundancies. Well, let's talk now to our correspondent, Edward Salt, who joins us from our studio in St Helier. Uh, so, Edward, the police releasing a few more details now. Yes, Anita, indeed, uh, these developments coming through in the last 30 minutes. As you said, a sixth victim in the multiple stabbing incident in St Helier earlier today has now died. The woman had been undergoing surgery at St Helier's Jersey General Hospital. That's in the capital of the island after she was left in a critical condition following the incident at Victoria Crescent. <laughs> Late into the night, the investigations continued as police tried to piece together why six people, including three children, lost their lives. Armed officers guarded roads in an area that had become an horrific crime scene. Well, Spotlight's Edward Salt is there for us now, Edward. Yes, hello, good afternoon, you, Chief Justin. Well, a lot of activity here in the centre of St Helia. In the past few moments, two recovery vehicles have arrived. There's a car uh, which is taped up with police tape behind me. Now, there's a lot of public interest here, a lot of public reaction from people that live in this area who are still in shock and, like the police, are trying to piece together what happened here. Now, at a press conference by the police earlier on this morning, they confirmed that two families were involved, and indeed one of those they confirmed was of Polish origin. Today they returned to find their island had changed dramatically, as Edward Salt reports. It's an island still scarred by the Second World War. Forts and bunkers litter its coast. It's going to be awful news for jurisdictions like Guernsey and Jersey, isn't it? Because people in the UK with offshore money here are just going to take it away. I think, I think there is a very real concern on that. Hello, I'm Edward Salt with the latest from the Channel Islands. The price you pay for gas in Guernsey and Jersey is going up. Prices will increase by 3% in two weeks' time. A very good evening to you. Welcome to BBC Channel Islands this Thursday evening. I'm Edward Salt. Some of them live just around the corner from where I'm standing and Edward Salt's been to meet them today. For the residents of these arms houses here in Abingdon, life has returned to normal. But for many others who live around here, the threat of being flooded again never goes away. Edward Salt, BBC Oxford News. From me, though, thanks very much for watching this lunchtime. Have a lovely afternoon. Bye for now.